Creating Pinterest graphics does not have to be as hard as you think. If you can make one Pinterest graphic, then you can make tons of Pinterest graphics. I'm going to show you how to make one graphic plus how you can turn it into multiple graphics. In this video, I'll be using Canva and Premium stock photos. Plus, stay tuned to the end to know how you can get stock photos and templates to use in your business for a much easier creative process. I have refreshed my business for a much brighter and colorful aesthetic. However, as you can see, I need to also make my Pinterest graphics align with my new aesthetic. So let's create a Pinterest graphic from scratch. So first thing I do when I get into Canva, I go ahead and I search for the Pinterest graphic. Then you can also go over to create a design or you can use the search bar. I just use the search bar, it makes it a lot easier and I just put in Pinterest graphic and it shows up. I used a blank one because I don't really like the templates that they have right now, but these are all some alternatives if you wanna get started right away. I'm going to create a new graphic for this blog post using my new colors, fonts, and elements in stock photos. To begin, I always start with my title it's the easiest to begin with because I can use that title as my guide to finding stock photos I want to use. The title needs to be catchy and grabs your audience's attention. Put powerful words in bold and make sure that the title is big enough to see. To use an image as your background, you first need to go up to Elements on the left hand side and choose Grid. Next it's time to find an image. Inside the Chibo stock membership, I have over 3,000 stock photos. It's easy to find images inside the membership by type, color, or collection. I like to add my collections inside of Canva to make things easier for me. When you find images that you love, add them to a folder in Canva. Now based on the title, I want to find an image that relates to it. It's okay to play with different images until you find the right one. Now that I have the image that I want, now I can play with the fonts a little bit more. So I can move it around and place it in the area that is least cluttered. And right now I have it at the very bottom because I have negative space where there's nothing there. It's time to jazz up this graphic with elements. I like to start with shapes. Usually if there is too much going on in the background, I can use a shape such as a square to hide some of the image. However, since we have negative space at the bottom, it makes it easier for the title to stand out. So I'll use this shape to shout out my website. This is also where I'll start adding in my brand colors. With any call to action, you will want to always give them an incentive for reading your blog. For me, it's free stock photos. Whatever freebie you have, don't forget to add it here. Freebies are a great incentive to adding people to your email list so you can add more value to them. Change your background colors as you go along so that it fits with your background. Make certain words stand out among the rest. And as you can see, I'm using the shapes element again just to bring out more attention to the title. I like to add in an arrow 
from the elements section pointing up to my incentive to really nail in that got to read this blog post vibe. And that's how I made this graphic using a stock photo that made sense to the title and adding in elements that draw the attention to the title. So let's take a look at my previous image again. Still a stunning image, but now it makes more sense to my brand. Plus, I can still use both graphics to draw attention to my blog. Having multiple images for a blog post is ideal if you want to get your graphics seen on Pinterest. Let's take a look at how you can create multiple Pinterest graphics from the graphic I just created. So I want to continue making new graphics for my blog posts on my website. So what I will do is just duplicate the graphic that I did and change around the stock photos, the font, the colors, and the elements. As you can see, I'm playing around with negative space again, but if I feel that the background is overpowering the title, I will go in and make the image a little transparent so that the title can stand out more. Here I want to make sure people can see my freebie, so I'm using the shape element to make it stand out more. Can you see the difference an image can make just by switching it up to relate to the title of the blog post? I'm going to do one more so you can see the difference and show you that creating graphics doesn't have to be hard if you have the right images and your brand colors on deck. Next, I added a circle from the shape section just to give it a little bit more pizzazz. I deleted the arrow because I felt the freebie call to action spoke for itself, so I didn't need the arrow. As you can see, I created three unique graphics all by starting with just one. Now I can use this as my template for now on, making it much easier for me to create quickly. Now I want to share with you my complete blog refresh using my new graphics. Check out the before. And here's my after. You can see how well everything blends and pops together. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share this with a blogger or a service-based business owner that needs to hear this. If you stay to the end, great. I want to share with you where you can get stock photos and templates to help you stand out. Shebo Stock has over 3,000 stock photos to choose from, plus templates for social media and to create those freebies I was telling you about earlier plus exclusive bonuses you won't find anywhere else. So go ahead and get creating with ease today.